Wow. The mist is so over, guys. How have you been my good people welcome back to my youtube channel and in case it's your very first time that's a car passing in case it's your very first time i appreciate you for your time kindly hit on that subscribe button if you haven't and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified anytime to my returnees thank you so much for the love for the support for everything i appreciate you so today i'm going to give you an exclusive tour of my great grandmother's compound guys it's been raining it's been raining and since we are in the planting season we appreciate god because our crops will do magic and we can't plant without the rains so let's start from this side just have a look how the other end looks like it's also covered by the mist wow wow An hour later you can see the sun is out but not promising so let me give you a tour of my granny's compound. So this is the entrance from the main gate. This is where you pass when you want to get to my granny's compound. Okay, let's go. So this is the way. To my ground apparently i'm at my great granny's compound and behind me this is space there used to be a grass touched kitchen <laughs> there is a, a cock there there used to be a grass touched kitchen but it's no longer there and then we have this tank guys uh, hmm. this tank is as old as 60 it's past 60 years of age you see it, it is made of concrete sand and cement and then this is um this used to be the main house for my great granny but she no longer lives there and then we have a, a basin that has water here uh i think there is a time uh, I did some videos from this space. Uh, this is my outside kitchen or cooking place outside. There is one there, another one here. And then the compound is super green, you can see. And traditionally, this used to be our traditional bathing trough. Yeah, <laughs> that's the main, it used to be the main house. That's the main house. And then in the village, it's not a must that you have seats outside your compound. You see these ones? These big stones here, they serve as seats. Very comfortable. You can chill, have some good time in this open space. You can see there are so many. One, two, three, four, five. And there is a, a cloth line here can see this is a cloth line and then this is a, a fence these trees they are not planted no they just grow by themselves and then this is now the main house for my great granny she lives here but i'm not going to i'm not going to give you the 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 exclusive tour of the inside <laughs> i'm just giving you the outside compound tour and then we have these berries how do you call these guys these are berries 
blackberries and they are very sweet right now they ripen up so fast because of the rain not only this but most of the the, the fruits here in the village they ripen up so fast right now because of the the rain no ariska And um, yeah, that's the main house. Uh, the main house, it has the kitchen, the bathroom, the inside bathroom, the, um, the what? What? The, the living room and the bedroom for my great grandmother. You see? How many of you remember this plant? How many of you we call it matata matata tree normally used for fencing and then on the other side it's our neighbor's compound so this is the field you can have some good time here chill this is where you can do the um, how do you call it how do you call them um, hmm. okay if I remember, I'm going to tag you along. If I remember. Uh -huh. And then, we have some trees here for shade. They, they, they provide a very good shade, you see? Yeah. And then, what else? So many, so many plants of which I don't know the names. Uh, we have this cow over there. Yeah, that cow there. And then guys, let me show you something. You see this plant? This plant. This is a spicy plant. It's used as a spice. It's used as a spice. You can make uh, a tea. Tea. Morning tea. You can prepare morning tea with this. With only this. You don't need sugar. And it has a very nice scent. Uh, it can also be used to prepare um, fermented porridge. When you, you prepare fermented porridge with this, it gives that fermented porridge a very nice, nice scent. Okay? What else? <laughs> you know what? This, this area is full of some trees and it can serve as the bathroom, outside bathroom. <laughs> And then we have what guy let me show you again this is a medicinal plant this one when you have when you have flu flu um, you you only pick the leaves you pick the leaves and then you chew swallow the the juice and then the cold the flu will go away okay let me show you here we we have the outside uh, latrine. You can see it's over there. Let me, let me close. And then this is the the bathroom. You can take shower from this place. <laughs> yeah. So I think that is it. Okay, let me move to the other side of the garden and give you a little bit of the the view of that place okay so stay tuned i'm sorry that was my aunt talking you can see this beautiful flower it's a plant at the same time it's a flower some flowers around the compound from a distance you can spot the blue gum trees they are being planted around the compound we have a banana plantation, 
doing so well. Yeah, there is aloe vera and there is also a project of the, the chicks. You can see these ones are one week old. Okay, one week. How was the tour? How was the tour, my good people? I hope you did enjoy. So we are right back to our kitchen, our precious kitchen. It's very precious because we get to do a lot of cooking from this place. So we must adore it. Uh, right here, I have, this is night black shade hashtag kenyan managu very nutritious very healthy very organic right from the garden so because they are very they are still soft i'm going to steam them for at most eight minutes and from there i will show you what to do next so stick around and let me know what you think about this video our lunch was so delicious though i did not record that part and then after we were done i decided to sort out these beans together with my aunt uh, right now it's heavily raining actually there are those who planted earlier so our aunt is the one who brought us these beans that we are going to have the next day almost coming to an end it's 5 p.m. and I want to get the cows back home they've been grazing down here so let me take you there so that you can get to see <sighs> this is a tributary here connecting to the main river and right now it has a lot of water so the cows are here you can see them they are there let me take them back home because the time for milking is up let's go home Back in the days, this used to be the, the, the work uh, for men and young boys. But what if, what if you are born in a family whereby you don't have brothers? What are you going to do? <sighs> but it, it doesn't mean that I don't have brothers. I do, but right now... <laughs> so, hey. So unataka wewe unisumbue, unizungushe, unizungushe. I'm trying to communicate with this cow. that brings us to the end of the video i want to appreciate you very much thank you so much for the support for the love and for everything let me know what you feel about this video not until the next one it's a bye and i love you so much bye